Hello everybody, it's Sinuyon, and this is Pathologic! You might not be able to hear that, I'm gonna read it for you. Traces of the supernatural are found more often than the most reasonable and wise people would like. Chimeras that had been worshipped by our ancestors crawl from the depths of time. The directors of our fate drop flakes of ash on our heads from the low heavens. Dot dot dot. They remain hidden from us until we look them straight in their cunning eye. Then, having lost their disguise, they obtain flesh for a tiny moment in time and die. But in their agony, they rip apart the world that they see as their toy. I guess that's the end of the little intro thing. I don't want to hit any buttons in case it skips things, because I know in other games I've skipped stuff before, but that potion keeps on like popping up everywhere. I'm really excited for this because I read a review. Oh, oh this is cutscene time. I'll stay quiet, guys, don't worry. Sinuyong, shut up! Yeah, I know, I'm sorry! She's got freckles. Oh my god, this is so cool looking. Be quiet, Sinuyon! I know, I'm sorry, audience. Oh, what the hell? God, this is disturbing. I'm gonna have nightmares about this. They're not talking, so I'm just gonna take it from you guys. I'm sure it'll be okay for me to be talking right now, but what the hell am I- what? What was that? Did they, like, make a doll and bury it, or was that an actual human that they mummified and- what? Alright, that was just weird. Okay, audience, I'm gonna start the game. Let's see what this is like. You are Vitaris of Ruse. Whoa. Where on earth did you come from? No, I don't like it. This is really nice looking. We're about to be fooled, the situation unties our hands. Well. Well, the muscles are flexing, meaning we are already inside. What are they talking Looks about? Like one of the ventricles. Open the door. Looks like it hasn't no, started. open the door. Does it matter at all? I'm pulsing matter? with light. Already... Open the door. Oh, whoa! Uh, the Bachelor, the Haruspicus, the Devotress. Alright, so, uh, I'm guessing that I should do The Bachelor. And Funky Boy Cherry Popper is the one who brought this game to me, so thank him so much for bringing this, because it's only because of him. But I'm gonna read The Bachelor to you guys and then select it. The Bachelor. The history of mankind knows such catastrophes that demonstrate the whole insignificance of our achievements, and the victory of undefeated evil. Such are, of course, the epidemics of various contagious diseases that have destroyed whole cities in the past. The best, best way- what? It said the best twice. The best, bet. oh, the, I'm sorry. The best and wisest of the participants of such events have all come to the same conclusion that it isn't worth fighting in such circumstances. But is best to simply clench one's teeth and take the losses? Random question mark. This is a story of a man who performed a miracle and defeated an opponent when victory seemed impossible. Let's embark. The Invisible Enemy. Daniel Dankovsky. A Bachelor of Medicine has come here by the will of some evil coincidence. His whole life's work is about to become a failure. A letter written by his colleague reaches him at a time when he's being persecuted roughly by the authorities, who doubt the competence of his theory of the limits of human life. The letter states that some settlement is ruled by an extraordinary man, who is a living proof of the Bachelor's hypothesis. Dankovsky is filled with hope. He sees an omen in this unexpected letter. Without spending a single day in idleness, he sends out on his journey. He sets out on his journey. The bachelor arrives at the place at night. In search of a place to spend the night, he meets a girl by the name of Eve Yon and stays in her house in order to wait for dawn. I'm really. Oh, sorry. I like these cutscenes. They're really cool. Whoa. Okay, 
Okay, this game is creeping me out. I haven't even started. It's really creeping me out. I don't know what I'm seeing. And what kind of music is... Look at this guy's face! Oh my god. Fingers. Is that me? I hope that's me, because I look cool if that's me. Got like a ruby on my jacket and stuff. I, I, I think that's me, and this is the house that I found to stay the night. Decided to start this. Come on, load the world, load the world. My, vis my mission so far is quite vague. The results of the examination of Simon Kane, who is a person of remarkable longevity, according to some sources, could overturn the basis of modern tenetology and the scientific views on death in general. However, even in this, if this immortal dragon is, exists, the fact of his existence on its own will not cancel the authorities' order to close our laboratory. I will need to find a way of getting into close contact with him. If Simon, a man of power and authority, should find my interest insulting, it will be hard to persuade him to write a new page in the history of the teaching about the laws of vital processes. Okay, so... Oh, day one, by the end of which the bachelor will have to begin his fight with a truly undefeatable foe. That doesn't sound too promising, audience. Uh... I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do right now, so I'm just gonna sort of look at things. Uh, oh, whoa, okay, I'm, I'm looking through the stethoscope. Can I... okay. I don't really think I'm supposed to do anything with that. So, let's check out the drawer, no. Oh, uh, sleep? Whoa, that's interesting. Alright, so, uh... Alright, I'm awake now. What's... nothing in there? Uh, hopefully I'm not supposed to do anything in here. Because I'm not finding anything to do. Alright, let's descend this staircase. God, this is creepy. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. She scared me. I was just getting ready to say I'm not seeing anybody. I that you would come. These sounds from the outside awake you too? A terrible laugh that was, wasn't it? And something cracked so loudly. No, I heard nothing. It seems some strangers are there in the backyard. I don't think they have s I don't think they have some wrongdoing on their minds, but I have a bad feeling about this. I'm afraid to come out to them. I hope they go away soon and stop disturbing our sleep. I'd like to thank you for your hospitality. Why do you think they don't have anything evil on their minds? A few people live here. There are so few people here. There are no crimes, especially here in the stone yard. Of course, they're up to some pranks sometimes. Fights happen occasionally. People are young here, so they often go out at night, but they are all sort of friends. Now I hear some strange talk. That's no good noise. I'll go out and check. I need to hurry. I must see this father creator of yours. And you are prepared to exchange the company of the charming woman for that of a terrible old man, even though he is a sorcerer? That's so sad, but Simon won't disappear, you know. He always was, and always will be, even if the moon were to fall to the ground. Please, stay with me for a while. Simon is a sorcerer? Have I understood you correctly? Is that the secret of his longevity? I couldn't even imagine the hospitality here. But who was waiting for me? Because I didn't write to old Burak, telling him of my arrival. I don't know. I'm gonna do this one, the longevity thing. Are you in that much of a hurry? Come on, the canes are asleep now. Take your clothes off. Have a rest on my bed. Let me warm your hands. You are so anxious to see Simon as though your life depended on it. 
Oh, so she's trying to end me. My life, yes. When my lavatory is on the brink of doom, the, my life... My whole life's pursuit depends on that remarkable man. If this man really managed to live that long, then his fibers will help me defeat death. Death, so that's the enemy you chose for yourself. Isn't it hard? I think nobody has managed to defeat that evil yet. Millions of doctors defeated it on certain singular occasions. My enemy is worse. It is death itself, no singular case of death. I don't understand. Show me where Simon lives. It isn't far, the canes live in the horns, on the bridge square, so let me give you a piece of advice. Go on. Simon has two younger brothers, the elder of them, George, is called the judge by the people. Visit him first, he isn't asleep, he'll teach you how to speak to Simon. The younger of them is Victor, his daughter, Maria, would also like to see you. That is probably important. What is it that, what is it she knew about my arrival? Yes, she told me secretly. Communicating with her is easy. Maria is that kind of person. She is quite, imp she's quite impudent, but that's just how the canes are. It was Maria who told that, me that she will help you defeat death. That's just exactly what she said. Some coincidence, perhaps. All right, I'll do that. God, when are you going to stop talking? Go, and I'll prepare everything for your return. Do come back after you speak with the canes. They will probably do a lot of things that will puzzle and put you on your guard. I will have some advice that will help you, if you need it. I'll come back. Yes, I can finally leave. Alright, so, uh... Alright, uh... Can I exit this escape? Yes. Alright, let's exit. Sorry, audience, if you're getting bored by all of this talking, but, I mean, it's a part of the game. But if you'd rather I sort of cut out talking parts and focus more on, uh, just, like, action-y stuff, let me know, but... Knowing you guys, I kind of don't think that you're those- What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is this thing? Oh god! What the hell? Stop, my friend. Listen, I have a few words to tell you about the circus. I don't want to talk to you. Who are you? One of the actors of a tragic pantomime. How have the- Nothing to do with the matter either. You want to listen? No, I can't. I, I, I don't. You're scary as freaking hell. What the hell is this guy? Most respectable bachelor, please be so kind as to linger for a minute. Your dialogue with me won't ta take me much, especially because time stops during dialogues. If it's important, of course, a dialogue is extremely important. It's connected to the rules of the game. What game, man? The mask? I am no actor. Of course, of course, you're a living man. You need to eat, sleep, and drink. You suffer from pain, wounds, and diseases, just like a living man. You need to rest to be able to continue properly. You can make mistakes. That proves my human nature very nicely, doesn't it? If I may, I will draw your attention to the importance of watching your state. If you get dizzy or it becomes blah blah blah, stop saying silly things. I'm leaving. You're scary as hell. Where am I going? Can I get to the map? Okay, awesome. Uh... Okay, so that's not where I want to go. Where is... Okay, it's up here. So I'm going the wrong way. Let's turn around and go this way. Can I run? That's dark. I don't think I can run. Audience, if you know how I can run, let me know. I will be very, very happy. I don't want to talk to you. You've got big lips and you're funny looking. What the hell is... Okay, I think it's just people on a fire. What kind of place is this? It's really creepy and it has like... Those crazy looking guys and... Oh my god. Alright, let's look at the map again. Okay, I'm close. Let's go through here. Jeez, this is creepy. Alright, so should I go in here? No, not this one. I wanna go... Let's see, who's this? Simon Kane lives. Yeah, so Simon's the one I wanna talk to. Or... Here, I'll go talk to this person first, because she knows more about me than I do. I really wish I could run because then I wouldn't be walking slowly for you guys. Alright, so here's the entrance. Let's check this out. Are you ready, audience? I am so ready. Let's go, enter. Oh god, this is really creepy. I'm going to stop the video here, and like it, subscribe it, let me know what you think if you want me to continue playing creepy ass picture. Broken mirror. What the fuck kind of pictures are these to have in your house? Like, subscribe, comment, tell me everything, guys. I love all of you. And this is pathologic. And I can't wait to continue and start to actually delve into the game. So just let me know. I'm stopping it here, as I said. 
and I will continue later. Have a great day, and do not forget to feed your pets.